This is so toxic. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Like, this is bad. Like, oh my goodness. I can't deal with this. This is. <laughs> Yo. Yo, what is happening, dude? So here we are. <laughs> Let's do this. No words for this one, bro. I'm a little, uh, a little hurt. Just a little hurt. You want to know why? I'm pretty sure you know why I'm a little down. Last episode was embarrassing, bro. Needless to say, I'm sure you all agree. Last episode was just not it. I think you'll find that when I go through hardships like that, I don't take them lightly, okay? I, I, I don't take that stuff lightly. So I spent some time thinking after that last gameplay. I was like, okay, okay, you know, Jim Leo's got some hands. I gotta admit, gotta admit. And I did a couple things. I spent, you know, a bit of time getting good. Getting good, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? I did a little bit of exploring, trust me, nothing story related, no spoilers or anything like that. I didn't I didn't ruin any surprises. I just kind of roamed around, got a feel for what this game was bringing to the table, you know, by myself, explored, caught some Pokemon, things of that nature. And again, and one of the things I did explore was another town, which as you can see, had a clothing store. Yes, sir. Look at the drip. Yes, sir. Like I said, I was going for a sporty vibe, so I got the, uh, what, are, what do you call those, long johns? Yeah, I got the sporty, like, long johns, and then they had high tops of the different Pokemon types. So I bought the dragon high tops. Ooh, <laughs> fire. Got a little headband too, you know what I'm saying? So this is the summer outfit. I'll have to obviously think up something else once we get into a colder region in the game, because if I look at the map here, as a matter of fact, we do have a cold region, yeah, this whole top area. So I feel like once I get past, like, desert and like this, once I get anywhere up here, I'm going to probably switch to, like, winter clothes, you know? But anyway, long story short, we beat the gym, which is fantastic. I explored a bit, also fantastic. I made a couple of adjustments to the team, so let me show you what we've got. So, I found this, like, dragon ghost Pokemon called Dreepy. And me being both a fan of dragon and especially ghost types, that got scooped up so quick. Obviously, Charcadet's still on the team. Tad Bulb's here with us, obviously. Of course, Quaxwell's on, like, on deck. Corellia's on deck, and I found a Dawnstone during my travels. Dawnstones are used for evolving Krillia into, I forget what it's called, but it evolves a male Krillia into a psychic and fighting type. So, I figure we'll let Krillia level up a couple times, maybe one or two more times in this episode, and then throw that bad boy on, see what happens. And then we have a Ponyard here. Ponyard is Dark and Steel, which I felt would be a good addition defensively to what we have on the table here because what I if, what I thought about was a lot of our Pokemon kind of have similar weaknesses so to speak like a fairy type is going to eat good on this basically this whole team not because of weaknesses but just because of how strong they are so this is a good counterplay in case that happens especially with Dreepy like oh my goodness this Pokemon will get destroyed by a fairy type amongst other things I don't know. I haven't fully thought up a strategy, but I do have a team comp in place. As for Ponyard here, not sure if they're staying, of course, but I do think that they've got a high chance. What I might do, and this is this might just be for the fun of it, I might straight up just trade Ponyard, right? Like do an online thing, trade Ponyard, and whatever Pokemon I get. That'll be the one that'll be on the party. <laughs> Leveling up like crazy. As you can see, our team went from like level 18, 19 last video to like mid 20s, high 20s. Like, 
I was not messing around. And our next objective was taking on Team Star, I believe, right? I forgot, dude, because like I said, I spent time doing a little time skip. Yep, Team Star. Okay, so as you already know how I do this, I'll see you guys there. Anything interesting pops up, of course the camera's coming back on. Anyway, give me one second. We'll be back shortly. Here we are. Looks like we're getting a call. It's probably from that mysterious hacker person. Let's hear what they've got to say, yeah? Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join the operation. I guess so. Thank you. With this, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. Who is this? This dude looks a little old to be wearing something like that. The name's Clive. And how long have you been spying on us? I don't need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, Sorn? Uh, no. I don't, I don't, I would have remembered meeting you. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. It's not something you can join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the Operation Clive. I guess you're in. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Simply put, I want you to raid each one of their bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from their role somehow? That's right. Team Star is made up of five squads, and each of those squads has its own base. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle, they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, if they just so happen to lose, they must forfeit their role as boss altogether. I went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Sorry. No! Why? They're basically declarations of war! Oh my... I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Well, go get him. Wait, wait, is this Clavel? Wait, huh? I mean, I see the the stubble, is this? I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks you about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. So, hold on. Clavel overheard the conversation and then went into disguise to help us. Is that what that was? I didn't even notice the disguise until that option popped up. That was actually pretty good. That got me. Because I was literally like, yo, who is this clown? But <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's progress here. If you don't clear out real quick, Lake, I'll have to come at you in self-defense. You get me? I'm not turning back. Let's get it. You want to throw down? We can throw down. Trust me, I'm ready. I'm built for it now. Oh, I'm built for this. This is how you want to go down? Dang, imagine getting clapped after doing that ugly pose, bro. Actually, no, no. Yo, this thing is fast, dude. It's like four or five levels under us. How did it get so quick? Get out of here, bro. You have a char cadet? Charlos? <laughs> you know this little guy? Charlos the Charcadet. Bars. Okay, okay. It's one of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Wait, you're... It looks like he may have some connection to Team Star's fire crew. I better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You just press ahead into the base. Okay, so the game just asked me to challenge them with the first three party Pokemon. I mean, Pokemon in my party. So, I guess we kind of... I don't know why they limit us like that. That's a little weird. But, okay. I mean, 
If I had to pick three for a fight against fire types, with possible dark types because of like hound doors and hound dooms, who am I thinking would work for us? Well, Quaxlaw is clearly in there. That's free. Ponyard would probably get burnt to a crisp. Tadbulb might be a good secondary in there. Charcadet, mm, we'll do Corellia. Those will be our three. It's okay. Some junk pub kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know he's messing with. Let's teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guests, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, I'm boss my eye you with an appearance. Slaughter them, bro. Light work. Alright, can we, uh, do what we came to do? Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now. Alright, it's time to put you in the grass. Oh, it is a formal battle. That's where you messed up. Now you're fighting on my field, bro. Right here, right now, you're going down. That design is just fire, dude. That's cool. Anyway. <laughs> oh, they're about my level. What the heck? Bro, that's kind of upsetting. Yo, that means if I didn't grind, I would've got bodied here. You know what I'll do? I'm gonna just let Quaxlow handle this, and we're gonna Terrastalize on this next one. Revaroon. Isn't that... Wait. What? We're fighting the... Oh, okay. We're fighting the actual vehicle. Alright, well, let's turn up. Let's get it. Show them what we do, Quaxlow. Show them how we put them down. Blazing Torque. Yeah, it's starting to do a little bit of damage. Yeah, this is going to be a uphill battle. Speed boost. Oh, yeah. you're. This is just like that gym battle. It's about to get toxic, bro. We're, we're fully healing. Yeah, we're not, we're not allowing this battle to end like that gym battle. What's with... I don't know what it is about this region, but everybody's got like an addiction to doing speed boosts and stuff. Like, what is going on, bro? Low sweep will slow it down, but at this point, there's no point. They already go first. I might as well not get caught up in that. It's literally just a tank battle, bro. No, what do they call that? Um, Damage test? Is that the word? Where you have to beat them within a, before they get too overwhelming? I forget. Oh, now he wants to debuff. That's a bit late. Oh, actually, no, that might be a problem if we get hit again. Oh, yeah, this is it. That's how it rolls. Peace out. We're getting flashbacks? Welcome back, Melly. Is that the rest of Team Star, I guess? I managed to get a bunch of Char Cadet to evolve. That ought to be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed, is that not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. I'll oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, better Mella. <laughs> Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. Well, come on, not you too, Ari. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Operation Star, it's finally happening. And the big boss, what prey is their plan? We already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked that the thrill's burning me right up. I burned through everything I had, and now I've sputtered out. 
guess this is where it ends. Oh no! I just realized she can't bend her knees when she walks. <laughs> You're Mella from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Where are you supposed to be? A Charcadet? Wait. Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? Seems he came to this base looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can't even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? Bro, this music's going for it. Mmm. Really trying to pick up that nostalgic vibe, huh? To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would you? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. And nothing changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. And what about that modified car you were emoting around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. But we never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before? And what's this about a big fight? You ever hear of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Starfall? No, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. <laughs> it's me. It seems Mella no longer carries her star badge, the symbol of her status as a boss. She gave it to you, did she? See? Now there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shadar squad shouldn't last long. Oh, Mella. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Time about your reward, I'll transfer from LP over to your phone as promised. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. You're the supply unit? I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. But, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study, you know. The treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working hard behind the scenes. So, here you go. Your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Materials, huh? You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you'll get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Also, um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon in charge in the battle. Seems you were pretty amazing. With the trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so, um, good luck. Wholesome little bean. Evolution, evolution. Let's see. Whoa. Did you see that Tauros just now? It's trying to end my life. It does evolve. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Go for it, buddy. You definitely put a lot of work in for us. <laughs> yo! Yo! This belly bolt. Okay, no. This Pokemon is it. I love this design. This is great. What appear to be eyeballs are actually organs for discharging electricity generated by Belly Bolt's belly button dynamo. So, is its eyes the middle or the ones on the side? I don't, I don't know. Either way, that's a. I like that design. That's a cool looking Pokemon. You're definitely. Yeah, that's that's end game right there. Belly Bolt's here for life. Oh, we got the Dawnstone too. I forgot I did mention that. Let's just go ahead and use that too, get it out the way. 
Yes, sir. At least we got some extra action on the video. Got laid, huh? That was the name. Because it can sense what its foe is thinking, its attacks burst out first, fast, and fierce. I like that. Let's heal up. You already know. And then I'm going to trade off Ponyard. I've decided. Whatever Pokemon we get, that will be our final party member. Everybody else that's here, you're seeing, that's, that's full team right there. They're definitely, like... Oh, we got a regular. We got a Mankey, bro. I don't want no freaking Mankey. I already caught one of those. I got a starter? Hello? <laughs> Yo! Wait, that was a starter type. Let's go!